Hello world. So today I wanted to talk to you about uh, something I've come across during my study for uh, OCJA, like Oracle Certified Java Associate uh, Certification. Uh, and that's um, called method hiding. Uh, I've come across it uh, when reading about method, method uh, overriding and I found this to be rather interesting. Mm, I really and I really wanted to talk to to do a, make a video that will complement the article from my blog post uh, explaining uh, what does method hiding uh, mean and how is it different from method uh, overloading. Right, so uh, if you've read my, uh, my post, uh, then you get an idea of, oh, if you read my post, you get an idea of what this um, actually means, but I just wanted to do this video so I can uh, better explain uh, and show you guys how uh, how this works. All right, so I got a new project uh, set up, and uh, in order to to prove uh, uh, method hiding, um, I'll create two classes. So I'll first create uh, just go here uh, new class, and we'll do like a base class. It's called shape, uh, and then we'll have another class that's called square. Okay, so uh, the shape class, let's add a method. I'll start off first of all, uh, I'll start with a uh, method overriding and just to like, uh, to have a like starting point and then we'll move, we'll get to method hiding. So here in the in base class, let's add a method called um, gets name, which will actually return a string uh, with the name of the, the shape, all right, so. And this one will return shape. Okay. Uh, in the square method, uh, let's ex have it extend uh, okay, the shape uh, class in the square class. I keep saying method. Uh, the square class will extend the, the shape class. And here, let's just have it override the kit name method. And it will actually return square okay so now let's add the step a main method um, okay and let's create two objects let's create shape uh, object shape shape And we'll create a square, square, new square, square. And let's have it. Uh, let's, have, let's call these two methods. Okay. Okay, so now if we run this code, what's actually going to happen is we're going to get shape and then uh, like colon space shape and we're going to get square uh, colon space shape uh, square again. All right, so let me just run the code. Okay. All right, so we actually uh, we got like shape and shape and square and square. Because so actually what, what happened is we've overwritten the method and actually when creating a square object we use the definition uh, that's here another one from for the from the base class the base class right so there's no surprise there uh, but let's see what happens if we change the reference to the object well actually what's going to happen is um, like nothing's going to happen we we'll still get the the shape shape and the square square uh, lines printed to our console all right, so this is a uh, method over writing. So I guess it's pretty straightforward. There's no surprise there. Um, but let's just get into method hiding. Um, first of all, method hiding now uh, is similar to method over writing, uh, except it only applies to static methods. Okay, uh, so let's just add a static method to the to the base class. Uh, do public static int get uh, corners. Okay, let's have it return minus one because we actually don't know what kind of shape this is going to be and I'll just like 
return a minus one. And here, actually, if we try to override the method, uh, we actually don't have it here because it's not overriding, it's method hiding, so uh, IntelliJ doesn't know about this. We'll just have to add it manually. Uh, public static int get corners. And have it return four because it's a square and uh, it has four corners. Okay, and now uh, the different, the main difference uh, here uh, comes from uh, the fact that the the different methods uh, will get called uh, as function of the context we're, we're actually using to to call them. Right. So um, what's going to happen is if we call the get corners method from a parent context, we're actually going to get this one. Uh, we'll get minus one re uh, return, and if we call it from the child context, we'll get the four, actually. And uh, for me, it was a little bit difficult to understand how we get to call uh, these methods from uh, parent versus child context, and that's what I want to sh actually share with you guys. So uh, we'll just delete the, sh the shape object because we don't need it at this point. And just also delete this line. And we'll just keep the square object. Uh, in order to prove this, let me add just like two more methods. Uh, we'll add first a method in the shape class, the base class, right? So I'll do public void print shape description. Description. All right. Uh, okay, and we'll do s out. And let's try it like, like shape. Okay, so we know we're in the shape class, and it's, this is the description of a uh, and let's add the get name method, which has get corners, corners, right? So let's just add a similar method uh, to our child class, but let's like slightly change the name of it. So it's not overriding it. Print square description. Okay, this is, and let's just add like a differentiator here, let's do square. Okay, and we'll replace this line here. Just do square dot. Um, so actually, now, now let, let me just point out something. We have, I've ha I kept here the shape, um, shape reference to the square object. So. Actually, we're not getting the, we're just getting the shape description, so we're not getting the, the square description that's, uh, uh, yeah, the, the square description method that's here in the, uh, the child class, so I have to actually change this back to square, right, so we can get the method. All right, so I'm just do again, so here now you can see it gets both methods, square, and the square. Okay, so we got this, this two methods, and um, let me just run this so you guys can see what uh, what, what the output is, and then we'll we'll go uh, do it. Too. So just run this. Oh, sorry. All right. So the first one says shape. Uh, this is the description of a square which has minus one corners, and in this one here is. This is the description of a square which has four corners. Okay, so uh, we're in a bit of a dilemma. How many uh, corners does a square actually have? Okay, um, this is uh, not, I mean, this is method hiding. It's a little bit weird, but let's just go into the details of what, what's happening. Let me add some breakpoints so you can actually see um, this in a little bit more detail. And let's run the code again. Let's debug it. So, okay, we create the new object, uh, the square one, right? Okay, let me just move forward. Okay, so we created and then we're starting to print the shape description. We're going into the base class because the child class has not over, has not overridden uh, this method. And, um, okay, we're, we're looking for the get name. And the get name actually is a method that's overridden, so, um, it's not going to call this uh, this met this code right here because actually what happens even though we're in the parent context uh, by overriding the method we actually change the definition 
of the method of in both the parent and the child context, right? So this happens at at, uh, at compile time. And yeah, we're not gonna call this method over here. I'm just gonna call like the this one over here. So let me just prove it. Moving forward, right? So we get square. Moving forward, and now we would expect. I mean, actually, to to get the over uh, the somewhat overridden uh, version of the the get corners method. But actually, we don't. We just get into this one over here because this is like a static method, and um, yeah, we get this one. Okay, so now we get the uh, output minus one. And so if we move forward, square description goes here, in this class, and we'll get the square. Yeah, and then we'll get the four. All right, so yeah, that's what happens. And yeah, that's the main difference between uh, hiding methods and overriding methods. Uh, so yeah, it, 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 basically it boils down to what context are you using. So if you're calling an overridden method from both the, from either the, the parent context or the, um, uh, the child context, you're going to get the, uh, the code that's actually implemented in the child class. However, if you're hiding a method and you call it from the parent class, you're going to get the parent implementation of that method and if you're using the child context you will actually get the child implementation uh, of that method. Uh, I hope this uh, was useful for you guys. Um, if you like to comment please do so below and uh, yeah I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you.